yeah. Oh, Reggie, you're getting so big. <laughs> you big sausage. You big sausage. Reginald. Oh my goodness. I know. I know. Where's he gone? Come back, Reg. Chancy boy. <laughs> oh, Reg, he's in my face. Come and say hello to everybody, Reg. He's too wiggly. We can't capture him on film. Too wiggly. Morning, folks. Shower head. Um, yeah, he's too wiggly. I can't capture him on camera. Anyway, today's job, go back in, finish off those uh, toilet roll holders for the ladies and gents lavatories. And then we're going to have to pick up some other jobs and get prepped up because on Monday, because we don't open till four on a Monday, we're going to come in really early and we're going to paint the ladies, paint the gents, put the toilet roll holders up and loads of other remedial work before, and we've got a date now for the starting of the chef before the 21st, I think, of January. It'll be his first day here, so we need to get everything ready for him to arrive and start working on a brand new kitchen in the brew shed so I'm gonna have my work cut out for me anyway that's not gonna to happen today today is uh, well a bit of a suck it and see get a load of projects finished off kind of day well first job of the morning is complete I've been in and waxed all of these other components for the toilet roll holder I decided in the end to go with a softwood because it's lightweight and by cutting two pieces in half it gave me four shelves which is what I need so it made sense and then outside I've propped up all of the steel framework and given it a once over with black spray paint so uh, once that's dry we'll turn it over and give it another coat and then I also need to disassemble this one which we put on here yesterday for a little bit of a finishing cutaway at the end of the uh, vlog and I need to basically put another coat of black on all the spray sprayed sections and then hit it up with a couple of coats of clear lacquer so that the uh, the finish doesn't get chipped very easily but I'm really quite happy with how they've turned out right couple of maintenance jobs to do in the pub now so I'm just going to grab these screwdrivers I will have to come back for some more tools but I don't know what I need we're going to go and fix a light switch so here is the offending article I've done this before as well and it keeps getting pushed back so this time I'm going to put more of a permanent fix in there I think I'm not sure why it's giving up the ghost so easily and I can't find any replacement components for this style of faceplate I don't know maybe you guys out there will know of somewhere that sells these but you'll see a little bit more as to what they look like once I take the faceplate off what I can tell you is they don't sell these at Screwfix and Tool Station. so we've got the screws out here's the big reveal as to the faceplate and what indeed it looks like behind and you can see that they've got these little steel retaining clips on the bottom of each switch plate to keep it in position and it would appear that this one has decided to give up the ghost so I can't really see, yeah it's still got the clip there so maybe all that is required is that clip needs kind of setting into place a little bit more firmly so indeed it doesn't slide off anymore because it's really irritating me just a little bit so in a very uh, public house style fashion kind of thing I've got a Fomex piece of plastic here that we use for the pump clips for those of you who don't know what pump clips are these are pump clips so uh, I've taken one of these obviously without the printing on it and I've cut it out and then uh, I cut two but that was slightly too thick so instead I've used a beer mat which is about half the thickness and I've managed to 
wedge it underneath these little sections of the sockets that are not well, I've moved it now just there we go that are not playing ball so that will stop these dropping down because I think that's what's happening when people are pressing this on and off this little clip here is just dropping down under its own gravitas so with that in mind we've wedged that on yes I know I need to relabel this faceplate as well and I think that will solve the problem forevermore so I'll just put the camera down while I put these screws in then we have to go into the toilets again to change the handles on the doors because all of the locks are falling to pieces we did inherit a fair old bit of rammel when we moved into this joint so here we are again in the ladies toilets oh no surprises today well that's great news, I tell you what, I can't believe how scruffy some of them are. Right, so these are the locks, look. This should have a lock on it, on the handle. It doesn't. This by the way, was Stuart's idea. He wanted to turn the ladies' toilets into something akin to beach huts at the seaside. They painted the doors, I put the mirrors up. And then basically he did fuck all else. So we're going to come in over the next few days and we're going to paint the walls so they don't look a horrible white like this because I don't like it. And then hopefully it'll look a little bit better. But anyway, I digress. There we go. This one has a lock on it, look. So if we go in here, hopefully there are no surprises for us. Then this is all we've got. This horrible little clunky funky style lock here and uh, well they're rattly and rubbish and what I've been doing is gradually replacing them with these uh, kind of antique black ones and they're a lot more kind of you know you can really feel them they're, they're solid they're absolutely solid so I've been online because my local tool station, or screw fix should I say, which is where these came from, didn't have any. We had to order them to be delivered today. And fortunately, we've got, I believe, the same style. Hope you can see the lighting's a little bit dim downstairs. There we go exactly the same so yeah that's my task for the next 20 minutes half an hour change all of these so we managed to get the door handles changed over no problem and these are much more robust of course than the other ones and then if we go into the gents i have actually been able to mount uh, the new handles on there and indeed the toilet roll holder so that looks pretty smart it's gonna to have to live above the toilet because there isn't anywhere else for it to live so the next job for us now is just to come in here and basically fill any holes broken cracked plaster and that kind of jazz and then we're gonna to have to paint the place because I don't like this white and it shows up all the scuff marks and stuff like that so yeah, that'll be Monday's job. Right, that's all the jobs done in there. Well, I say all the jobs. All the jobs for today. We've got the toilet roll holders stroke shelves up in each cubicle. I'll go and have a quick look at them now. Because the pub's open and, well, if anybody comes downstairs, they're going to think, who's that weirdo in the ladies' toilets with a fucking camera? And of course, yeah. We don't want to get caught doing that, do we? So, there's the yellow, here is the pink, and indeed the blue. So all we have to do now, paint these walls, and uh, well, that's job done. Well, I was going to do a few more jobs, like make up these door stops for the back of the toilet doors, uh, but I've been sat down doing some tax return work because the deadline's the 31st of Jan 
and quite frankly I'm freezing cold now and the fact that I've got to pay any tax has really uh, quite upset me so uh, just one thing before I go I bought this uh, Magnuson stud detector oh no noise it's obviously not working it's not picking me up so actually I've tried it in the in the toilets to find the studs for the wall so I didn't hit any pipes or anything like that it's not worth a tosh so that'll be going back to screw fix for a full refund thank you very much it is wank so it is poets day after all so what I'm gonna do is uh, jump in the van and go home get changed and come out for a pint or two this evening and hopefully warm my cockles a little bit because I'm absolutely freezing. So we're going to call it a day. We'll see you in the next vlog folks. Cheers for tuning in.